I really like how this yellow pops. Let's take a look at these. Welcome back to Stranger Palooza, guys. I'm Hank Strange. I'm at the 2022 Overland Expo West, which is in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm joined here by John, who's the owner of Nomad Vans. These are beautiful, probably the best looking van at this show. Oh, thank you, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell us a little bit about Nomad Vans. So Nomad Vans was created out of the passion of my, my wife, uh, my business partner, and myself to travel and, and recreate. So I built a van for ourselves back in 2009 when there really wasn't anything happening in, in this space. And everywhere we went, every time we opened the door, people were like, you have to do this for a living. So mm -hmm. it turned into a business for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are today, going on seven years later, mm -hmm. being bricks and mortar. Mm -hmm. uh, are you loving it, building vans? I mean, this is probably a crazy time to build vans. It's been a busy yeah. time, but mm -hmm. yeah, we're loving it. And mm -hmm. We're happy to be back at mm -hmm. uh, this event again after a three-year hiatus since the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here featuring our new showcase van, Sunny, which you see behind us. Right. Oh, Sunny. That's its name. That fits. <laughs> okay. And uh, Sunny features uh, you know, a little bit more refinement and a few new ideas and uh, and technologies. So I think we're going to step inside in yeah. a moment. Let's take and, a look at uh, it. We can take a closer look. Like the color and everything outside is is really popping when you come inside. I, you know, I feel kind of the same way. Yeah. What's your design philosophy on this stuff? So we've always been about bright, cheerful colors. When you're on the road traveling, it's a happy time. From time to time, you'll be stuck in a place where the weather's bad and you're stuck right. inside and you want to be in a, in a cheerful place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one of the other vans we have here at the event this weekend kind of has what has, has been our signature in the past, which is a bright orange floor. But we bring color into the van. Um, you know, for some clients, it's a pop of color, a little accent here or there. This is our new showcase van and it's kind of a, definitely more, more colorful with yellow on the outside yeah. um, and some sort of subtle touches on the inside with pops of color and texture with the different textiles that we, that we use. So, so I really like these seats. Uh, do you guys do this yourselves or? So the seating in this van um, up front um, <coughs> through our partner Schielman, um, these are aftermarket seats from Germany. Mm -hmm. um, so these are, it's a factory upholstery option but they were custom done to our specification, doing the orange stitching, oh. you know, highlighting oh, the seat belts. The orange on the seat belts, yeah, nice. orange faucet okay, behind cool. you. Um, the two person bench seat, second row seating with seat belts for two. Uh, we've got two extra hides to match the front pool street. And again, doing the orange stitching on the, on the seats, bringing another little pop of color. Okay. And what's going on here on this wall? So. On the interior, we have a, a great um, textile partner that does these fabrics for us. So this was a new material that they came out with. Uh, and you can see just with the navy, it picks up on the floor and with the little pops of uh, color on the wall, a little bit of yellow, picking up the yellow on the outside. Yeah, there you go, yeah. It's tough to get the full, you know, look at it with lighting and stuff like that going on. Probably actually if you close this, this uh, down, we can, uh, we can get a, a good shot of that. Oh, I see it's a I like, so your window. Also. Yeah. So is this a different kind of window that you guys use here? We affectionately refer to this window as our, our takeout window. Okay. It's an awning window, which is sort of a European style mm -hmm. camper window. This is our number one choice in terms of adding windows in this location because it's a double, a double wall acrylic window. Yeah. So it gives you some thermal protection in both hot and cold yeah, weather. I agree. And Those are the best, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it uh, it works really, really well. We've made a custom window shade. Nice. Um, we do all of our own soft goods in-house, mm -hmm. um, which has an integrated bug screen behind mm -hmm. it as well. Um, and that's Very kind cool. of a, a sunbrella fabric that we do all the, the okay. interior shades out of. Can we get a look at the storage here? Absolutely. So our upper cabinets. So we've got some new hidden 
hardware, which keeps them closed while you're driving. Do the, you like these bags for storage? This because this is this is what you guys use, right? So making the most out of a compact space has always been a, a big deal for us. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and partner Christina is the neat freak in our household. So we've always organized uh, our clothes and gear into um, stuff, basically storage capsules. Okay. So it makes the best use of each of these uh, mm -hmm. cabinets. One of these cabinets is roughly the size of a legal carry-on uh, if you're flying on an airline. Oh, okay. So it consumes quite a bit of stuff if okay. you pack it efficiently. Oh, and so if you guys pack like this, if you had to get on a plane, you could just, that cabinet goes on a carry-on? Basically, ah. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we do like these it. we do these bags in four different colors. So okay. if it was a family of four, mm -hmm. everyone could have their own color to keep right. their stuff organized. Okay, so you can get this from Nomad Vans. Yep, they're on our web store. Oh cool. Okay. That's nice. And anyone can buy them, right? You don't have to have a van. Nope. Yeah, oh, we have sweet. a web store that we have a, a very curated list of products which is all products that we use in, oh, in cool. our vans that are available to anyone yeah. not just anyone someone doing a full conversion with us oh nice I'll check that out um, I don't often see this in a 144 big roof here and and I guess well there's a tent up here right yeah so this van um, has the SCA pop top roof on it we mm -hmm. don't have that open mm -hmm. right now still um, a little bit windy <laughs> well that's fine yeah um, but basically there's a double bed uh, mm. up top so despite this being a 144 wheelbase sprinter mm -hmm. we've got seating for four and technically sleeping for yeah. for five because it's a double bed up top mm -hmm. the bench seat here folds flat yeah. so it would be suitable for yeah. you know, one person to sleep on and then a double bed in the back so this shows it can be done in a 144 Absolutely. You know, so you can kind of have the best of both worlds that you have a, you know, short footprint sp sprinter, right, and get out there and do stuff. I'm assuming, this is a 4x4, four four, right? It absolutely. Yeah, so you can get out there, do all of that, and then you can still bring four people with you, either your wife, yourself, your kids, or you know, whoever wants to go out with you. Very nice. So, uh, is it, oh, this is the fridge? Is this the fridge here? Yep, this is the, oh. this is the fridge. So okay. one of our partners for refrigeration is a company called Vitra Frigo. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of marine products and that's mm -hmm. where their focus is. So this was a new uh, format of fridge that they came out with uh, just under two years ago. Okay. Um, so this uh, <coughs> is tall and skinny, so the uh, what we love about this fridge is the form factor of it um, mm -hmm. fitting into a compact space mm -hmm. uh, it's 4.9 cubic feet but mm -hmm. because of the configuration of the fridge with this big oh, storage oh, store oh, that's nice you can go to Costco <laughs> and you can shop you can more stack. like when you're shopping for home yeah because uh, you can put like a two liter bottle of pop or yeah. you know this is my first Prosecco. time seeing this in a 144 yeah yeah, that's yeah, really a, nice. That's a great product. Yeah. That is really very cool. And the other cool thing about mm -hmm. this product is we can customize the panel on the front. So we've used a textile on this for another little pop of color. Um, but in a lot of customer vans, um, we're just matching the laminate of the cabinet to try to tie things together. Okay. okay. Uh, so s speaking of that, up here on the roof, what's this treatment you guys have here? So this has been sort of one of our signatures from the very first van that we ever built in the very mm -hmm. first van that we ever built as Nomad Vans. Mm -hmm. So all of our stuff has a little bit of a, a retro nod to the, the, the Volkswagen Westphalia. Uh, so any vintage West Volkswagen product is going to have a perforated white headliner. Right, yeah. And that was the perfect way for us when we built a van to keep the interior light and bright and yeah. colorful. Because you, know, you look at vans that have a dark ceiling in them mm -hmm. it just sucks up all the light yeah so if I you're agree. stuck in your van for two or three days because the weather sucks yeah. you're not going to be very happy yeah or even if you just like you know a lot of times i get caught just working like editing for a long time or oh, something yeah. like that it's really nice so what can you tell us about the uh, galley here galley cabinet um this is a little bit of a you know this is a very normal configuration for mm -hmm. us to extend yeah. the galley into the sliding door opening to mm -hmm. make the best use of the space mm -hmm. available um, this format is a little bit different than our than our usual, so we've done a big cavernous drawer in the front, which nice. is um, yeah. kind of a pantry, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, you know, we stopped at Costco on our way down, and just this was the <laughs> quick, quick unpack, the, the yeah. quickest unpack that we've done traveling in a van really? in yeah. a long time. Yeah. And the cool thing here is we've got another little hidden drawer, oh. which we've been we just keep our toiletries mm -hmm. in. So 
mm -hmm. super convenient. Mm -hmm. This is a, a deck shower. Oh, okay. You can use inside or out. Mm -hmm. And a nice deep oh, sink nice. on the top. So, cool. And one of our little trademarks that we've done in all of our showcase vans is featuring a, a really, really nice household faucet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my wife Christina, being a bit of a uh, an architecture and design mm -hmm. guru, she found this gorgeous Vola faucet mm -hmm. in orange um, to bring that little pop of color there as well. That's very cool. So what do you guys do for like bath shower stuff here? Is it here? Is it in the... In the you can have a shower um, out the sliding door outside, out the rear doors in the back. We're, we're going to be coming to market pretty soon with a new interior shower concept, which mm -hmm. I can't go into the details of oh, right okay. now. All right, cool. Look forward to seeing that. Big proponents of sideways sleeping mm -hmm. in our vans because it's the most efficient use of space mm -hmm. so so you got the bump outs here we've got the, the bump outs to make for a longer sleeping surface mm -hmm. our 144 wheelbase van conversions will typically have a, a double bed so it's 54 inches in, okay. in width all of our beds feature a Froley box spring system and a four inch latex oh, okay. mattress nice so we've had feedback from you know, clients who are chiropractors, for example, mm -hmm. that's the most comfortable mattress that they've ever mm -hmm. slept on. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I guess that helps keep the mattress in good shape as well, having that airflow. Oh, it's super breathing. Right? It's super yeah. important to have airflow underneath mm -hmm. the, the, the mattress. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's not an option with any of our, our, our builds, but mm -hmm. if you... You know, you've probably looked at other manufacturers' builds or talked mm. to other DIYers, which just put their mm. mattress on a sheet of plywood or a right. metal, metal yes. platform. Yeah. Right. It's not so pleasant when you lift that up a year later. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What kind of cabinet? So, do you have basically the similar cabinetry yeah, here? Basically the same, same upper thing? cabinets in the yeah. front, just a different dimension. Right. Um, and you guys have some lights built in underneath. Yep. Yeah, we integrate under cabinet lighting. Okay. All the interior lighting is all LED. Mm -hmm. We use. And then is this a control panel? This is a control panel for the uh, electrical system and, and more. Um, we're partners with Victron Energy, so all of our electrical systems are based on Victron Energy components mm -hmm. using lith lithium phosphate batteries. Mm -hmm. um, and we're constantly working at integrating more functionality into the touchscreens and seeing less of the mechanical systems in terms of our client's interaction with the vehicle. Very nice. And then before we leave here, I like the fan. Uh, is that like a typical option you guys would have? That's like, kind of a standard with okay. our, it's included in our foundation package mm -hmm. when you do a conversion with us. Mm -hmm. So that's from our, uh, our partner, Framo. Um, mm -hmm. comes from the marine industry mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very, very efficient uh, 12 yeah. volt fan um, that runs really, really quietly just for maximize airflow mm -hmm. uh, and keep you comfortable and primarily when you're sleeping. Yeah, very nice. So is this is this awning here all part of the setup? The uh, the tarp awning that you see here um, was custom made to our specifications from our prior partner Dragonfly, mm -hmm. um, and it utilizes a, 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 an, a, an extrusion that's mounted to the roof of the van, mm -hmm. and it's soft, so it all packs into a small stuff sack. Oh, okay. So it's, again, it's very very space efficient. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be quite as convenient as a traditional um, RV style of. Mm -hmm. uh, a wall awning where you it's have take a, some work, yeah. a hand crank or a button yeah. that you that you push. Yeah. But if you're actually stopped and you're camping for a few days, you know this is properly tethered down and is going to mm. be able to handle the elements yeah. much better. Yeah, it feels like it's doing a better job just because it's coming in from different angles, right? Versus if you go out flat, you get like a shadow cast in one specific spot. It looks like it's a, a wider yeah, it's, swath. Yeah, it's going to move around in. a little bit as the okay. sun moves around during the day, mm -hmm. but it's a pretty neat product. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. If you look in the in the jams here, Lola. So this is the color <laughs> of this. What was that color again, John? So it's a factory Mercedes color that mm -hmm. most people probably haven't seen before, but it's mm -hmm. called calcite yellow. Calcite yellow. Calcite yellow. Okay. Very cool. And then, so I'm noticing that down here, you guys have, uh, have you uh, like bedlined this or? So. Yes, it is uh, technically a bedliner mm -hmm. product, mm -hmm. but uh, again, I 
we'll keep referring to our, our partner vendors. So we're partners with, uh, with Linex. Linex. Um, and uh, they do a, a range of bed liner products. So this is their the most premium product that they offer, which is called uh, Linex Ultra. Mm -hmm. And it gives us the ability to be able to do custom colors. Mm -hmm. And this is meant to be applied on sheet metal to mm -hmm. do full color changes on a, on a vehicle. Okay. If you use like a very basic bed liner and did a whole vehicle, you could be adding in excess of 300 pounds to the weight mm -hmm. of the vehicle, mm -hmm. whereas this is being a paint quality product might add about 40 pounds to the weight of the vehicle. Oh, okay. And then they color matched to the calcite. Yeah, we uh, they sent us a number of samples and we chose mm -hmm. the color that, that worked best for our yeah. application. Nicely done, yeah. It's very, it's very subtle. Yeah, you know? it has a finer texture and yeah. uh, it's a really classy, good looking finish. Yeah. Very, very popular. Yeah, I've you know I've spoken before to Linex. I mean, I think they really get into the science of what they do. For sure, a lot of different options. So, are we going this way? So I like how this, this is this is kind of matching the treatment that's on that wall inside a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so right? it's a okay. textile from the from the mm -hmm. same manufacturer. Mm -hmm. um, this is a it's crazy durable, but mm -hmm. again, you'll notice the another pop of, of mm -hmm. color carrying yeah. that into the garage um, and throughout the throughout the van. So yeah, that's like our rear, what we call that our rear door storage pocket. Yeah, very system. cool. So this is designed by you guys, right? Yeah, again, that's another one of the soft goods that we make in-house. That you guys sell And that's a product that's available on our web store. Cool. For I, I like the skulls right there. I'm a the fan of skulls. Skulls are a, uh, <laughs> a special touch unique to this vehicle. Uh-huh. Um, so if you buy those on our web store, oh, no they skulls. do not have skulls. They okay. have chrome apps. Stainless okay, steel. very cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I thought for a second you were like a fellow I, pirate <laughs> or something. You know? I definitely live that pirate life. Okay, cool. So this can be this can be bought. Do you guys just have this for sprinters? Currently, we only have it for for sprinter. Okay. We are in the process of uh, uh, developing the same product for Ford Transit. Oh, so awesome! So that's coming soon. Oh, cool! I can't wait. I've got a Transit. So. There you go. Absolutely. So so um, obviously here you guys are doing bikes, right? So how do you have this set up? So, yeah, in my past, I was a, a bike retailer for uh, for a number of years and continued to be a passionate cyclist. So mm -hmm. traveling with bikes is kind of part of our normal. Mm -hmm. So professional bike repair stand um, on one of the, the rear doors mm -hmm. um, from Park Tool. And uh, this is another new product which uh, may find its way onto our web store at, at some point, mm -hmm. but a tool roll um, specific to bicycle tools, oh, okay. uh, which is part of the things that we travel with all the time. Um, so hangs off of uh, max tie-down hooks on the door. So again, very space efficient, rolls up and gets put out of the way. Continuing up here, all of our vans have uh, floor tracking for mounting uh, and carrying your bikes inside of the van, but you always have to consider where you're gonna put your front wheels. Mm -hmm. So uh, wheel bags hanging from mm -hmm. the ceiling there. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a really efficient use of space um, and we're trying to make the most of a, a small space at all times. Yeah, it's very cool. Moving inside, mm -hmm. um, we already mentioned the two rows of floor tracking. So you can fit, easily fit two bikes in here, plus a whole lot of other gear. Our partner Zargas, uh, mm -hmm. custom powder coated, yep. uh, a number of storage boxes yeah, here. Yeah, they make awesome uh, storage boxes. So That's in this case, we've got the lower one, uh, we carry all of our recovery gear mm -hmm. in it. Um, the middle one is sort of miscellaneous odds and ends, and the top one actually is our, uh, our coffee maker. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, bringing the orange accent into the back again and uh, up in the front there you'll see a uh, shovel mm -hmm. that's available from our partner Rome Built. And what about the shoes? You know, does everyone get matching <laughs> shoes? <laughs> um, my, uh, my partner Christina uh, loves shoes. Okay. So I think she put them there just because they were orange <laughs> yeah. and she could. Very nice. Yeah, it kind of kind of goes with the bike. It's kind of like a burnt yeah, this orange. is her bike, and you'll notice blue right. and orange again. Coordinate. A, you got to coordinate. <laughs> there is an Very on, nice. ongoing theme here. Yeah. Um, back to the bikes uh -huh. uh, and the fork mounts. So these are uh, another one of our products, um, our bicycle fork mounts. So we do those in two versions, in a single position fork mount and also in a multi-position yeah, fork mount. Um, any of you that have vans and have been traveling with 
and packing bikes into the back of them. It's a little bit like Tetris to figure anything out. So you've got three mounting positions and you can install the fork mounts facing forward or facing backward, depending on what you need, what you need yeah. to fit your bike into your van. Rear tire carrier, uh, this is a new product from our partner Romebelt called the Aftrack. Um, this will become the gold standard for a tire carrier in the in the industry because mm -hmm. it's a no. It doesn't require any drilling on the door. Okay. Um, so it uh, is compliant with all of Mercedes Upfitter guidelines in that respect, and uh, is super super solid. This is the first product uh, oh, for a whole rear door storage system that they're okay. going to be launching over the coming months. So you, in cases with builders like yourself, you can actually get this in your build. Whereas I've seen a lot of times you have to get this stuff afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we do full bumper to bumper for our clients, okay. um, not just the interior, but we complete the exterior for them as well. So when you come okay. to pick up your, your van, um, you know, you just have to buy groceries ready to and go. you're ready to hit the road typically. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here's here's the other bump out. Typically, you have a bigger one on this side, and you, and you've also treated it. Which is yeah. Again, nice. we've done the Line X Ultra here. Yeah. Um, keeping the yellow theme going on the uh, the exterior. Right. So and someone's in, what is this in here? That's a stand up paddleboard. Yep. So again, these are um, all of the exterior accessories on the van are through our partner Rome Built. So these are their surf cradles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they get attached to their chicane ladder on one side and a surf tube on the on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, so convenient way to carry your board to the beach if you're lucky enough to live somewhere where you can actually go surfing or have a nice freshwater lake to enjoy. Right. If you don't live there, you can go there with this. That's the, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's the point of it. Um, I noticed going up front, I mean, everything is Rome built, right? Including the, is the rack. What's the the, the visor top? rack on the front is mm -hmm. again another new Rome built product. Okay. Um, the pop up roof is from another partner vendor um, okay. called SCA. Okay. Um, so that can be installed on any Sprinter van, mm -hmm. 144, 170, or 170 extended. Oh, cool. And then snorkel. Snorkel. So where are you guys going with this thing? <laughs> so the snorkel actually isn't there to go through deeper water. Uh huh. Uh, it's to. Uh, provide cleaner air for combustion for your for your engine. Oh, I see. So okay. this is a product that's from our partner Eagle Hout, who's all at another booth mm -hmm. here at the show, who do crazy aftermarket 4x4 conversions. Mm -hmm. So if you really want the ultimate sprinter that can go anywhere, those would be the guys to talk to. Okay. Um, but Daniel, our friend there, provided us with the, uh, the snorkel to jazz up the exterior. Of okay. Our and so functionally, this helps the diesel run better? It helps to keep your your combustion air cleaner. Oh, okay. So if you're do going down a dusty road in Baja yeah. with a bunch of friends, it just it helps to suck in oh, that's cleaner cool. air as opposed yeah. to coming straight through the through the grill. Oh, nice. Okay, very cool. And I think um, I don't know if we started up front here. Is it, this is Rome built as well. I'm gonna see. That's it. Rome built's new brush guard bumper, which mm -hmm. is for the, the VS30 Sprinter, mm -hmm. and it's fully compliant with all of the sensors on the front of the vehicle. <laughs> so, no interference with the parking sensors, or with the adaptive cruise control sensor, mm -hmm. which is mounted in the center section. Oh, okay, very nice. I like this touch. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> Another little pop of color yeah. and a little little net retro nod. Yeah, very I love proud it. Proud of our branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the logo. And then you've got even like a, a go fast stripe right there. So how so fast? How much faster does that make this? Yeah, it's it's as fast as it looks. Considerably. <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah. Oh, you've got your your max tracks and everything right up top here. Yeah, okay. that was created as a, a, a usable cargo platform on uh -huh. the front, uh -huh. and uh, that was the perfect place for us to store our max tracks. And uh, as uh, my wife or any of my friends will uh, will tell you, I do manage to get the van stuck from time to time, you so do? they do get used. We've got three other vans here at yeah. the at the expo. Um, they're all slightly different layouts, so we can walk around and have a quick look at the yeah. at the other ones, so you can see what else we have to offer. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this will give everyone a good idea of what that pop top looks like. Yeah. So it creates a, another sleeping space for uh, for two people. 
you know, yesterday here at the expo, I think the winds were gusting, you know, north of 50 miles per hour, and that pop top, even when it was open, was rock solid. We were pleasantly surprised. So, great option um, to explore new layout options for your sprinter um, when you're, you know, traveling with your family. Yeah, I like the idea of being able to store stuff here. I know on that van it's the Max Tracks, but right here it's the Zargus cases, um, you know, as well. So that's, yeah, you know, that's that's a good idea, you know. Get some extra storage up there. Right. Can we take a look in this one? Absolutely. We're going to walk past a uh, another new product from Rumbelt here, which is their new integrated winch bumper. Um, so really cool new product, which. Uh, its claim to fame is uh, no re relocation of any of the sensors on the vehicle, and it's okay. fully com compliant. Uh, so that's the first to market of, uh, of a winch bumper for a sprinter that has those benefits. I like the seats in here. <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the seating in this van is yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, a van that we built for... Family of four, um, and the criteria two girls was we have to have a van that we can each take our best friend along on okay. camping trips. So okay. our uh, our clients uh, here they opted um, for the Shieldman seats and we did custom upholstery on this uh, with the captain's chairs as the second row seating. So it's a very very plush seating. Yeah, this has a very open feel, and then kind of like a locker room style set up for storage in the back there. Very different interior from Sunny, our showcase van that we we just looked at. Um, clients in this case um, wanted it to be a very, very classy interior, but really light and bright. So we use marine grade vinyls on the walls and the, and the ceiling. The custom leather upholstery, um, you know, the little touch of color here, which is a lot more subtle in this van than in, in Sunny. We've got orange stitching on all the custom upholstery, orange seat belts, which actually are a factory option for Mercedes. Oh, really? If your salesperson knows how to order them properly. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and uh, uh, soft bags for the upper storage here. Um, and. Uh, our millwork package on, on this side, mm -hmm. which in this case we've got kind of lockers, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. Hank. Um, so yeah, you guys call it a hutch? I wouldn't call it a, a hutch. I think calling it a locker probably locker. is okay. more, more accurate. But mm -hmm. each member of the family gets their own cubicle for, for mm -hmm. storing their stuff. It still has a, you know, a nice yeah. big fridge, 4.7 cubic foot fridge, mm -hmm. um, and a uh, you know, small galley with sink, induction cooktop. And uh, the one thing that you'll notice in, in all of our vans is all the mechanical systems. You haven't seen anything, have you? Everything is very, very integrated into the right. work and into the van, and we try yeah. our best to make that disappear. Mm -hmm. So in this van, the only uh, integration, the yeah, interaction yeah. that you have is <clears throat> right there. your touch screen for your Victron Energy electrical system. Uh, this has a simple S-Bar S2D2 heater. And the center switch is a kill switch for the whole system if you're leaving the vehicle in storage. That circle right there? Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. We build 170 sprinters as well. Uh, so this van belongs to one of our clients who's mm -hmm. uh, based out of Scottsdale that was kind enough to let us display it this weekend. You'll find this van featured on our website. Its name is Twilight. Twilight. Uh, if you want to take a closer look, there's a great gallery there to, to check oh, cool. out. Yeah. So, you know, um, very luxurious interior here with the custom upholstery that we did mm -hmm. on the front and rear seating, uh, sort of AMG inspired mm -hmm. diamond stitching. Coming inside, you'll find our uh, favorite color floor, orange. Um, so again, we've got a very subtle pop of color in here. Um, with the rest of the van being very luxurious with the uh, leather upholstery on the seating with the AMG inspired diamond stitching, uh, walnut on the lower cabinets mm -hmm. and uh, bright glossy white on the upper cabinets. Same perforated ceiling that you'll find in all our vans keeping it light and bright. Uh, this has our premium lighting package. Uh, which is beautiful as well. And as you look towards the, the rear of the van, um, this van is equipped with 
pneumatic coolings, uh, 24 volt rooftop AC units. I noticed that's incredibly flush. <laughs> yeah, it's very low profile, yeah. um, super efficient. Mm -hmm. This van can, the AC can run for about 10, 12 hours just off of the batteries. Mm -hmm. It's got a lithium package. Lithium phosphate batteries, full Victron Energy. Uh, electrical system as mm -hmm. is our standard in all of our vans. Mm -hmm. um, nice galley, this has a large, our larger sink option. Um, all of our vans will include a, a cutting board. Um, in this case we've got a two burner diesel cooktop um, which is going to give you kind of the best performance for being off-grid because when you're using it it uses roughly five amps of power per hour and burns the diesel oh, okay. that you have on board anyways. In the back, uh, it's a queen size bed in the rear with our own pop-outs. Uh, again, sleep, sleeping sideways. The bed will accommodate folks up to like six foot six easily. Um, and it uses the Froley Springs and our custom four inch latex mattress system okay. as well. So these pop-outs, you guys make those? This is one of our own products, and you'll oh, see cool. when we go on the outside. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. our, our fabricator that makes them uh, is quite good at making carbon parts. We have clients request that we do them in carbon from time to time. So these oh, are nice. actually carbon fiber parts. Oh, okay. I see your wall is different in this one, too. Yep. That is a pretty infinite number of options that you can choose in terms of personalizing it with colors and different textures on the walls and upholstery and laminates and materials that we use on the inside. These are our pop-outs. As I was briefly saying inside, these are actually a carbon fiber part, which is an option that we, we offer. Um, majority of the time we make them out of fiberglass and then we can do them either color matched or in a contrasting color. In this case, it's actually, uh, actually carbon fiber. And uh, with the same window we saw back in, um, in Sunny earlier, uh, the double wall acrylic window for maximum performance. Installed in this location where your head is in the bed for maximum ventilation when you're sleeping. Okay, very cool. So these are custom made by you all? Yeah. By, by uh, Nomad Vans? Yeah. Okay. Only cool. available with a full conversion from Nomad Vans. Right. Okay. Awesome. And then, go ahead. I'm sorry, I can say you mentioned full conversion a couple of times. What's the difference? If I refer to full conversion, um, <clears throat> for customers who live nearby, um, we do partial conversions or install heaters or windows or just a roof fan. So yeah. you know, part of our business is dealing with smaller jobs, not just doing the big premium bumper to bumper full yeah. fan conversions. So especially for the guys here in the States, you're doing full conversions and this would be an option. Yeah, because we're okay. located in Canada, yeah. like, you know, for yeah. most people, they're not going to drive yeah. north of the border to right. have a heater installed. Yeah. It just doesn't and, make sense. Right. And also, if you got a sprinter and you just want some big bodacious bump outs, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the full conversion. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, cool. And I like I like this uh, ladder set up here with the gas can. Yeah, again, that's, that's cool. a couple of products from our partner vendor, Rome Built. So the um, the gas can holder mm -hmm. is called their Cantainment, and then on the 170 or 170 extended sprinters, the typical ladder choice is their straight side ladder, and that is integrated and attaches directly to the roof rack. So if you Hang on to that one or climb up it, you'll find it is the most robust side-mounted ladder in the industry. Cool. John, thanks so much. You're welcome, that was, that was pretty thorough. I, I'm impressed by what I saw there. Um, for, for the folks out there who want to know, you guys are located in Canada, right? We're in Vancouver, British Columbia. Okay. Um, so just uh, a few miles north of the, of the border. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do business with Americans all the time, so don't be afraid to, uh, to make the trip north. Mm -hmm. If you want to reach us, uh, you can reach us through the contact page on our website contact at nomadvans.com, uh, follow us on Instagram at nomadvansofficial, and uh, we're also on YouTube under Nomad Vans. Very cool. Yeah, so if someone custom builds a van with you, are they picking it up in Canada? Yes, our okay. clients provide us with the base vehicle. Um, we need the vehicle to be dropped off at our workshop in Canada at the end of the build. 
uh, the best experience is always to pick it up in house, mm -hmm. so that um, one of our technicians mm -hmm. can do a full vehicle walkthrough and teach you how to use all the systems. Okay, very cool. All right, I think I said this earlier. This is the best looking van that I've seen here at the show. You know, it's unofficial. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have like an award <laughs> that I can give you, but it was very nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. I My appreciate pleasure, it. Hank. You're welcome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching here. Leave your comments. Maybe I'll get these guys to come in and answer some questions, etc. See you in the next one. We're here at the 2022 Overland Expo West in Flagstaff. We're out. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick break here to show you all these t-shirts that we're selling. And uh, here, I'll go to Lola's okay. right here. All Lola, right. you be the supermodel for I'll this. I'll try my best. So let's see if folks know what that says. Van Nosaur. That's what it is. Vanosaur. Like connoisseur. There you go. For anyone who's wondering, these are, if you want to support us, this is a great way to support us. We have these Vanosaur t-shirts. And you can actually buy them right here on the YouTube channel. Right. There's a like a little thing going there. What is that? It's a um, scroll on the bottom of each yeah. video, as well as if you go to the home page, there's a merch tab or merch store that you can click on. Yep. And you can get these cool shirts and support us. We're gonna do different designs. I think you have stickers and different things on right. the store right now. Currently, these are available on the sticker as stickers, on mugs, camp mugs, uh, water bottles. I think hats. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. So that's a great way to support the two of us. So if you want to support us, go there and check that out. And then one of the cool things about it that, you know, if you notice, there's no Stranger Palooza anywhere on it. So you don't have to advertise us, but you can support us, I think. Agreed. And you this know? first design is actually the Ford Transit camper van. Yes. So that is, uh, once again, I'm going to use one is. <laughs> as the model. So yeah, that is a Ford Transit camper van, which my, which is right there. That's yep. ours that you see right behind us there. And then actually, uh, we've got some friends over there. So if you're a fan of the Ford Transit or just van life altogether, this is a cool shirt that you can get. It's kind of like a a conversation starter because people are going to want to know what does it say exactly <laughs> all right and we're going to do more of them okay so that's it thanks so much for listening